said. She said, she said, she said, she said the more internal and eternal government we have, the less external government we need. That's all she just said. Amen. In other words, we will be governed and influenced by the internal and the eternal, who we really are, instead of the external. The more eternal government through our internal spirit, through the Holy Spirit that we have, the less external government influence we need. Amen. Are y'all still here? So Paul said the kingdom is not first. He said the kingdom is not meat and drink. Then he said this is what it is. He said this is part of what it is. He said righteousness He said, righteousness, being legally and lawfully in line with the governing authority. He said, that's what the kingdom of God is. He said, and when you in right standing with the authority now, he said, then you will have peace. God comes out. He said, peace automatically comes. So why is so why is so many believers so fretful and fearful? Come, come on, say 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 it all out, man. And fretting 
comes through fear where there is no peace. Because peace is saying now that I'm in right alignment with my government. Amen. I'm in right alignment and I don't have to worry about it no more. Because he already, he already didn't take care of that. So if the Lord had told me not to worry, that's what Jesus told him, that's what Jesus told him, right? In Matthew 6. He said, why worry about tomorrow? He said, why worry about food? He said, why worry about food? He said, why worry about drink? He said, he said the Gentiles, the pagans, he said, that's what they do. He said, your heavenly father already know what you have need of. He said, now let me, let me set you on course. He said, if you would just seek my government and my way of doing things, he said, those things will worry about you. So then you can have peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. He said the most important person in the earth, which is the Holy Spirit himself, the governor, he said he will bring my culture. And my culture don't have no fret in it. My nature don't have no worry in it. Come on. Hallelujah. He said, I'll give you what I have. And I'll and I allow the Holy Spirit to breathe on you and receive. How to my Nisha. My, my, my. <laughs> this joy that I bring. He said, this joy that I bring. He said, the world won't even understand you. Because they can see you going through the fiery trials of this life, and yet you still got joy. I ain't talking about happiness. He said you still got joy. Why? Because peace precedes joy. God, somebody. Uh, peace precedes joy. And when peace had, when, when peace had been rocking you, you ain't got no other choice but to have joy. I believe we need a whole lot of peace. We need more of God's peace. We need more of God's peace. So that we can truly experience the joy that comes after the peace. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. My, my, my. God is a good God. God is a good God. Someone read verse 3. 